how to protect myself from getting used by others and how to believe my guts. Another one is how to differentiate between my gut feeling and misunderstandings. I get that question a lot, even though I've answered it multiple times. You want to answer this? To differentiate between anxiety and your gut feeling, we said this before, that your gut feeling is the first innate sentiment pure. pure yes it comes with extreme clarity it's the first thing that comes to your mind and everything else that comes after that's fighting it negating it going against it that's anxiety because that's every what if and or but coming at you like a machine gun absolutely and how to and how to protect yourself from getting used by others so in this case she's saying Kif ahmi so how do i protect myself from being used by others and how do i trust my gut so I think she's trying to associate the gut feeling with protecting yourself from being used. Because you need to use your gut feeling to see if you've been used by others or, or it, it is within the norm of human interaction of give and take. Hmm. How to do that? I would say nine times out of ten, if you have a gut feeling someone's using you or if you, you're doubtful someone's using you, nine times out of ten, they are. They are. <laughs> So you need to actually, if you want to really break it down, so they might, because you could also be um, تظلم, or thinking too negatively or too paranoid, because I know a few characters like that. If you do have a gut feeling that someone is using you, ask yourself why and break it down. So what, where is this feeling coming from? What are the actions that have shown you that they're doing this? And if the, you know, where there's smoke, there's usually a fire. So if there is smoke, Very there much. is a fire. Very much. It is also important to define the cycle of give and take because usually when somebody is using you, he's taking something, your time, your money, your effort, your attention, your energy, it is, your energy, your resources. You need to, we need to understand that there is no giving before we take. We start. There's no giving before we take? Yeah. Okay, we elaborate. Start, we start as, a pu as pure takers. We are born as takers. Yeah. We take. We take care. We take love. We take attention. We take our, our mother milk. We simply take. Mm. And then we grow gradually into the process of giving. You are supposed to end your life at a stage where you give way more than you take. And you're happy with that. Define your existence and define your limits. Uh, I will say one little thing. I disagree that we solely take when we're born what is it that we give we make a mother a mother okay do you know what i mean like the blessing that is a child it's it comes from god but there is a huge giving there and um, i i understand do you get what of, i'm saying i understand all of the emotional and 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 what you call holistic state of but i was talking about pure i understand yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, go on. But I'm glad you added that. It's actually a very valuable aspect. Yeah, because especially I think in the Arab world, a lot of men and women will agree with this. Parents have this tendency to <laughs> So there will be this whole like, I brought you into this world. And it's just like, I'm going to stop you right there. No one forced you to have children. And also, it's a blessing to have a child. I, I feel like I always need to reiterate this, especially in today's day and age. It is a blessing. Yeah. To that have that a child. is very much true, and you can testify to the fact that, at least from my side, that was never something that was taken against you or used. Like I, I brought you to this life. Yeah. It's your right to be brought the way I was brought to this life. Mm. This is not for negation, for negotiation. Yeah, no, I understand what you're saying. Okay, so the question was, Bismillah, how to protect myself from getting used by others? How to believe my guts? How to protect yourself? I think it's. And this, I will, I will bring this up multiple times throughout this video. I think people really need to stop living half-truths. Absolutely. Half-truths are a state of delusion, and half a truth makes the entire, even the half that is a truth, a lie. So if you're having this friendship or relationship, I don't know the context in this case, with this person, and you feel that you are being used, and the thing is people tend to come up with excuses. No, but they love me. No, but they've been there for me before. That is half a truth. That's half a truth. If you feel you're being used, you're then being you are used. being used. Exactly. Just let go and try another. Yeah. Or go and re-examine the barrier, the, the, the borders, or the mechanism of the interaction. Hmm. And if you, if you put 
the mechanisms in front of the other person and say, this is what is happening. And they react with aggression, with anger, with, with, with blame, with the victim mentality. Then get the good news. You've been used. <laughs> no, if you set boundaries and the person opposing you... Then you've been used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you set boundaries and the person you are setting boundaries with has a negative reaction, immediately begins to blame you, starts to play dumb... Uh, wants to point the finger right back at you. Gaslighting, what do you call it? I know, oh my God. Immediately, that is a person you need to drop. Absolutely. There's no if, ands, or buts. There's no, oh, but they've been in my life for I don't know how long. That is a person who does not respect boundaries. Then enjoy your victim state. Literally, like, get it together.